Welcome to this session on testing and iterations. We'll begin this session by discussing developing in iterations and looking at the testing activities that occur in those iterations. By mentioning iterations, we're implying that we're taking an agile approach to development. And in this case, we'll be focusing on the out systems method of delivering projects in an agile way. So we'll look at these different testing activities across the three stages that they can occur in, the shape stage, the build stage, and the accept stage. And then we'll go back and look at all the different types of testing that occur in a single iteration. And we'll finish up by discussing where you can learn more about testing. So let's go ahead and get started. An Agile project usually defines a time box or a number of weeks over which the project will occur. In that time box, there will be a number of iterations, followed by a solution release stage and a tuning stage. OutSystems projects are normally developed in iterations that last two to three weeks. Each iteration focuses on a group of user stories and involves the following activities. Developing those user stories in the application and writing their tests then stabilizing the iteration with any needed bug fixes or improvements. And finally, having an iteration review or demo where we gather the user feedback and add any newly discovered requirements to the backlog. During the iteration, user stories in the backlog are analyzed and prepared for future iterations. Once this analysis is complete, an iteration planning meeting is held to determine which user stories will be worked on in the next iteration. And this will be based on the team's capacity and the user stories that are currently ready. Besides all the activities around user stories, each iteration also includes some team-specific activities, like daily stand-up meetings to discuss the progress status and team alignment. At the end of each iteration, a retrospective is also done but it's more focused on the continuous improvement of the team and the overall delivery process. So given that summary of what happens in an iteration, what are the testing activities and when are they done? During development and testing, the tester coordinates the user acceptance testing of the previous iteration. While doing analysis, the tester creates the test plan for the next iteration based on the user stories and their acceptance criteria. And during stabilization, the tester makes sure that the user stories of this iteration match their acceptance criteria, and then he selects the user stories that are ready for the actual user acceptance testing. So up to this point, we've discussed the user stories and acceptance testing for this iteration. But as we look inside this iteration, we begin to realize that the development and testing work is being done on user stories from the previous iteration. The analysis work is actually being done on user stories for the next iteration. And in stabilization, we're focusing on the user stories that we're currently developing. So let's look at things from a different perspective and focus on the user stories as they move across all three iterations, or what we call stages. Let's take a look at the life cycle of these user stories across the three stages. Here we have a list of the roles that could be involved in each of these stages and the activities that they would perform. The three stages are referred to as the shape stage, the build stage, and the accept stage. In the shape stage, the user stories are prepared and plans are created for implementing and testing the user stories. In the build stage, the user stories are implemented and tested and then also demoed to the business and stabilized. And finally, in the accept stage, the acceptance testing is completed for each of the user stories. So there are a lot of different activities happening across these three stages, and it might help for us to look at each stage in a little more detail. Let's look at the shape stage and highlight the key activities from the tester's perspective. In the shape stage, the first thing that occurs is writing the backlog. The business analyst will analyze the user stories and make sure that they're written in the correct form. 
the tester does not play any role in this activity. The next activity is to groom the backlog. Many members of the team can participate in grooming the backlog from the developer to the tech lead to the product owner and the business analyst. They will validate or challenge the user stories and tune them and make sure they're estimated correctly. Key users may also get involved if any clarifications of the user stories are necessary. Once this is complete, the tester has to validate which of the user stories meet the definition of ready, especially making sure that the acceptance criteria are correct. And finally, the iteration planning activity will involve the product owner, the tech lead, and the business analyst. They will agree on which user stories are ready for the next iteration. This allows the tester to plan and define the test cases for those user stories and make sure that the test plan for the next iteration is ready to go. Next, we have the build stage. In the build stage, we also have a sequence of three activities. The first activity is developing and testing the user stories. The developer, tech lead, and product owner are focused on getting the user stories implemented. Part of that work is testing. The developers will implement unit tests, and the tech lead and product owners will look at more high-level testing like end-to-end -end or integration testing. The status of these tests is then reported to the tester, so the tester can select the user stories for user acceptance testing. The tester will only select the stories that won't block the tests, and these are normally the user stories that have no critical or major defects. In the feedback activity, it's time for the internal demo, which is usually done in the quality assurance or testing environment. It's the first opportunity for feedback on the user stories, and it typically comes from the business analysts and the testers to ensure that the user stories are aligned with the business goals and meet the definition of done. It's also where the tester will begin preparing the user acceptance tests. And the development team will stay focused on addressing all of this feedback in what is known as the stabilization phase. In the demo activity, at the end of the iteration, there's a demo delivered to the business. It's where the whole team, and especially the key users, gather to do a preliminary validation of the iteration's results. This enables the key user to gather the context so they can join the business analyst and the tester in the user acceptance testing. Which takes us to the accept stage. In the accept stage, the tester focuses on coordinating the user acceptance testing and reports the quality status like the number of tests executed, how many passed or failed, and the types and severity of the errors that were encountered. That completes the life cycle for a set of user stories across the three stages. But as we discussed earlier, each iteration has all three types of work going on. So if we focus on testing in an iteration, what are the different types of work that the tester needs to do? The iteration typically starts with acceptance work. Here, the tester will coordinate user acceptance testing of the user stories from the previous iteration. The tester will do this with the business analyst and the key users. That will be followed by shaping work. The tester may participate in the grooming of the user stories with the rest of the team. Then, the tester will do the test plan for the team to implement and do that testing in the next iteration. Next, there's the build work. The development team will deliver the results of the implementation and testing of the user stories to the tester. The tester can then participate in the internal demo and begin preparing the user acceptance testing for the next iteration. The stage will end by the tester participating in the business demo along with the key users. So here we can see that there are quite a few activities involved in testing during an iteration. And having a dedicated tester or QA coordinator allows a person to focus on some of these key activities. In the case where our team isn't large enough to have a dedicated tester or QA coordinator, the tech lead and the developer may need to perform some of the activities that have been assigned here to the tester and QA coordinator. 
So, we've discussed a lot of different types of tests during this session and some of the reports that can be done on those tests. Here we've provided some links where you can learn more about that. So, that's it for testing and iterations. Thanks, and have a great day.